Hi, my name is Elsa Cabrita and I'm uh, from the Commission of the Master in Aquaculture and Fisheries and I will be here today presenting our Master uh, uh, in Aquaculture and Fisheries. So, uh, um, as, I, as I told before, uh, we have these main two areas and uh, our main objective is to provide adequate knowledge on sustainable use of living resources, conservation and risk assessment, as well as to provide knowledge on the production of several species in different aquaculture systems. So we want uh, to give the students several competencies in these two areas and uh, also to give them the capacity to involve uh, into a specialization at the third cycle uh, studies and to provide them also formation uh, as uh, professionals able to communicate with experts and also to the society. So basically, as I told before, this master it has two uh, study plans, uh, one in aquaculture and another in fisheries. Our master has two years and is divided in four semesters. So as you can see here in this slide, so the first uh, uh, semester, uh, the, the modules are uh, pretty much si uh, similar to the ones in fisheries. So the students will have classes on topics in aquaculture, fisheries and conservation, also some uh, models on techniques in molecular and cellular biology, fisheries biology and ecology, some statistics, and then you have the possibility to choose optional uh, courses also. So the same for the fisheries, uh, except that uh, in the case of aquaculture, you still have genetics uh, and selection in the first semester. Then we go to the second semester of the first year, and you see that uh, we have uh, more specific models uh, in, uh, in this uh, uh, semester. So in the case of aquaculture, we will uh, uh, talk the culture of live feed and larvae culture, transformation of aquatic products, pathology and reproduction in aquaculture, and also you have the possibility to choose 15 credits of optional units that uh, will be provided. Uh, if we go to the fisheries uh, uh, part, you see that uh, they are pretty much uh, different. Uh, we have management and conservation. Again, one uh, a module similar to aquaculture, which is transformation of aquatic products. And then we'll have fisheries economy, social dimension of fisheries, fisheries technology and stock assessment, and uh, once again, nine credits of optional uh, units. So I will show you after what could be these optional uh, units that we offer uh, each year. Uh, apart from that, and this I was talking about the first year, apart from that we have a second year and just to uh, uh, give you some attention to this, we don't have classes in the second year, so the second year is dedicated in both semesters to the thesis. In the first semester you will have uh, a thesis project and in this project, which is a thesis plan, you need to, to provide uh, evidence of the methodology you are going to use, the state of art of the topic that you choose and you will do this in collaboration with your supervisor and by the end of uh, uh, the semester you need to provide a, a working plan and you need uh, to uh, defend your project. On the second semester, and this could be also common to the first one, you'll need to do this uh, thesis project. So it's where we, you have the thesis. And uh, this could be only one semester or both semesters, depending on the topic uh, that you choose. So, and this is basically common between aquaculture and uh, fisheries. So let's see uh, what are the optional modules that we offer. And these always change from one year to the other, but we have uh, most of these ones are uh, uh, offered every year. We have, for example, introduction to management in aquaculture, practical work in aquaculture, nutrition, techniques in reproductive biology, wastewater treatment, field methods, laboratory methods, scientific writing, practical work in fisheries, scuba diving. And in this case, you need to define uh, what is your level in scuba diving. So I'm referring here to level one, but we have also other uh, uh, model that is scientific diving, which means that you need to have uh, the first level uh, done. And then we have also a uh, marine protected area. So basically you have here a huge list from uh, uh, courses from our master, uh, which are the ones who have an asterisk and other uh, modules from other masters that you can also uh, choose. 
So, but something is common between the aquaculture and the fisheries, which and common in all models that we offer, which is that we have theoretical classes, we have practical classes, we have seminars given by specialists that we invite to come here to talk about their work. We have field methods, which is basically where you can put your hands on. And we do a lot of visits to research institutions and companies uh, to provide you some knowledge of the work that is being done uh, at the uh, uh, in the Algarve and also to uh, give you contacts for future collaborations. Uh, one thing very important is that we have also specific laboratories for the cultivation of marine organisms and well not only for the, uh, the cultivation of these organisms but also for some fisheries biology and they are LIOA uh, facilities that were rebuilt this year so it, they are pretty uh, new and we have Ramaliet experimental station that I will show you some uh, pictures. So this is a place where you can do your thesis and where some parts of the research can be uh, done from your projects or work field. So this is near the uh, Faro Beach and you can see the building, the localization and uh, you have indoor uh, facilities and outdoor facilities for the cultivation of these uh, marine organisms. So one of the questions that some of you uh, sometimes uh, ask is what do we do in our classes? So this is the main curiosity. And so I'll, I, I just have here some examples of what you could do uh, in class. So for example, in the area of aquaculture, we produce, we learn how to produce microalgae, rotifers, artemia. We also reared fish larvae. We do the assay of these larvae. So there is a huge component of um, zootechnical aspects. Uh, we do other things on fish reproduction and breeders management and in these uh, images you see this is the Senegalese sole which is one of the models that we use uh, uh, in class because uh, there is a lot of uh, uh, groups working uh, here at university in the, with these fish so they are uh, supported for these type of classes. Uh, we also do uh, uh, some work in health so in pathology so there is a class in pathology where the students learn how to identify uh, some parasites and some uh, uh, identification of illness in the fish. Uh, we have other classes more uh, specific uh, on techniques in molecular and cellular aspects and in this case for example just to show you what we have uh, done here it's the analysis of uh, some gametes quality uh, and we also expose our students to biotechnological techniques. And in this case, for example, the students were doing some microinjection and uh, were performing some preservation uh, techniques. So uh, these were uh, more or less the aspects related to our lectures and then now some general aspects that probably you have heard in other talks. So when can I apply to this uh, master? So, we have the, our inscription, our master is always open, uh, but we have four phases. And just to give you an idea, we are right now on the third phase. So you have still time until the 10th of July to apply to this master. And if you fail this uh, third phase by any uh, uh, situation, you still have the fourth uh, uh, phase until the 38th of August. And uh, we usually receive a maximum of 25 students and uh, between uh, Portuguese and uh, uh, international students because our master is always uh, uh, taught, totally taught in uh, English. So if you need more information, you can uh, see here uh, and search in our web page. Another question that some of you can uh, ask is where can I do my thesis? Uh, and of course, this is just an example here. So we have collaboration, so you can do it at the University of Algarve, but we have straight collaborations with the research centers. And in this case, I show you here some competencies of CCMR. So these are the, some of the groups that usually receive our students and the topics that they work can go from fish nutrition to reproductive biotechnology, seahorse cultivation, skeletal malformation, fish physiology and endocrinology, fisheries conservation and management, extraction of compounds from microalgae, for example, or other species, reproductive ecology and population genetics. So you have a huge, and this is just a small example of uh, some of the competencies that CCMAR can provide you, not only for the thesis, but also for the practical work. So if you have some doubts, just go to the, their page and try to see if you have some common interests. 
But of course, there are other uh, institutions that collaborate with us. For example, uh, the Portuguese Institute of Sea and Atmosphere, and uh, which is here in the south of Portugal, dedicated both to aquaculture area and to uh, fisheries. And they do a huge uh, work in the cultivation of several species, so from sea bream to sea bass, so some fish, uh, some bee valves, some macroalgae, mic microalgae. So you have a huge possibility also of uh, uh, working here as a volunteer or uh, doing some interesting work or even your thesis. They have also a part on stock assessment more dedicated to fisheries. We also collaborate with companies and uh, just to give you an example, Sparrows is one of, uh, uh, one of the companies dedicated to nutrition in aquaculture where uh, most of us, well, some students have uh, done their thesis or their practical uh, work and so it's also a possibility that you can uh, uh, arrange. But we shouldn't be limited to this uh, small community here uh, in the south of Portugal. So you can go abroad. Uh, we have collaborations with other universities. For example, this is just three examples, Bergen, Ghent, and Wageningen. Uh, uh, these are big collaborations are established, but it's easy to establish any collaboration between uh, uh, universities or research centers. So you have other possibilities where you can go and do your thesis. And just to help you, uh, the Erasmus uh, Mobility uh, Program uh, can give a, a good support uh, uh, by providing grants uh, for students to do their um, uh, practical works or their thesis in EU places. Just to give you some examples, uh, these are some places where in the last five years uh, our students decided to go and do their thesis. So you see that uh, it goes uh, from, for example, well, Spain, France, uh, Ireland, uh, Denmark, uh, Sweden, uh, Norway, I'm probably uh, um, forgetting something, uh, but Italy, Greece, uh, and well, these are the, just the examples uh, in Europe, but then outside Europe, and I was not able to uh, put a map, a complete uh, map from, uh, from the world, but you see there, there are still uh, students going to Brazil also. So uh, uh, we are sending students uh, to different places uh, to, pr to get the best uh, knowledge as they can from, their, uh, from those uh, research institutions or even from companies. So just uh, to uh, finish, uh, so this is the master coordination, Professor Margar Margarida Castro, she's the director of the master and together with, she's specialized in the fisheries and uh, together with me and uh, Professor Pedro Rodrigo, we are from the aquaculture part. And so if you have any doubts uh, in, uh, in how to apply or any doubts in our uh, uh, program, just contact us and we will be willing to provide you any information or uh, just to summarize I've uh, uh, built this uh, small flyer here where you can get all the key information that you needed to apply, both on the scientific way and the practical way. So you have all the information here resumed. And I hope to see you um, um, uh, in this next uh, uh, semester uh, and hope to give you some classes in, uh, in the aquaculture field. So I'm available for uh, any questions. Okay, so thank you very much for your attention and hope to see you here at University of Algarve next year.